Hey guys, it's Deb. I'm here for another layout. So what I did was I picked my photos. Here's two of my photos. I'm putting two on this page. Okay, and then I picked out my papers. These I cut to save a little time. I cut these shorter. I'm going to be using these. So, and now I picked down, I'm going to show you everything else. The whole idea of this is to show you it's a good idea to go through your stash because after a while you forget what you have. So when you go to put something together, whether it be a mini or a card, even a card or a tag, go through your things and see what you have and pull out what you think will go with your photos if you're making a mini or a layout. So I picked this out. Now, it doesn't mean I'm going to use all this stuff, but it gives me an idea of what I'm going to be working with. I picked out some black flowers. These flowers I plan on painting red. I picked these out. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but I might. I picked out this. I'm thinking about maybe cutting this. It's a little long, and of course I have to paint it. I'll try to do as much as I can on camera, but if I don't do it on camera, when I get back on camera for layout number two, you know, session number two, I'll um, explain to you what I did. I picked out some ribbon that I'm going to use. This ribbon is really pretty. It's got some uh, black and red in it. And then I think I might be using this rub-on. And I think I'm going to be doing some of this in the background with Tim Holtz. I never used this before. So I think I might put some um, bob wire in the back of this layout. So don't skip ahead because I think every uh, part one, part two, and hopefully no more than part three, you're going to learn a little something in each segment. So let me get this stuff out of the way and we'll get started. The first thing I'm going to do is work on my photos. All right, I have some idea for these photos. Let me put this on the side. Okay, the first thing I want to do with my photos is I'm going to grunge them up. Now, on photos, I like to use a scissor because it's a little bit easier to get that rough look that you want. And, you know, I want it to look like it, it's being torn a little. And see how I'm coming in on the photo a little and I'm scratching up the photo? That's what I'm looking for. This is going to be a real grunged out, you name it, kind of a, uh, okay. Here we're going to do some grunging up. And there's some scratches on it. That's fine. That's what I want. So you just want to do this working all the way around. Okay. It tore a little. That's fine. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little acrylic paint. I wanted to use my dabbers, but my dabbers, um, they dried up. I don't know why. So I have a little red acrylic paint and a little black and we'll see how it works with acrylic paint. I only want to put a little a little down the sides so I'm getting a little red and use a paper towel and I'm just going up and down the side of my photos just to add a little color. Alright, I'm going to add a little bit red a little bit more red and I might have to bring in a little if it gets too dark I'll just bring in some uh, some white okay here I'm gonna put a little bit more red get more red out of there my inks dry up I don't know why I put the caps on good a little bit more red okay and I think I want a little bit more red over here. There we go. Okay, so that's what we did with that. Now this page, now I'm going to let that dry. On this page, I'm going to take it and I'm going to tear it. I know, you're thinking, what is she doing? We're going to get some thread, any color that you want for your photo, and a needle, and you want to double thread it. And now I'm just going to come up through the bottom up to the top, stay close to that torn line, and I'm stitching an X. 
So see how I'm stitching the photo? Then I'm going to go back down the other way. I could probably whip this around it, but I don't want to do it that way. This way you can see it better. So I'm just stitching up it. That's why I said you don't want to miss anything. I'm going to be doing a lot of different things. Okay. So now when I get back up here, I'm going to go down. Okay. And all I'm doing are X's. Can you see that? See the X's? So now I'm going to go back. And I'm going to complete it. Go back down. Let me move this light a little. Okay. I'm going to go back down. And this is easy to do, to go through the photo. It's not hard. It's not hard on your fingers, in other words. Okay. And then when I get back down here, I have three X's down her photo. And now I'm just going to go back through these threads. And then just cut it off. That's all you need. Okay? So these are her photos. I might go and add a little bit more red on this side quick. So I know my photos are ready. And when I'm off camera, if I want, once it dries, I might add a little white in there so it doesn't look so, so, so red. Okay, so we're going to put these on the side. So you see how I grunged it up around the sides and I put the thread and I sewed it. See it right here? All right. And what I probably do after the paint dries is I'm going to go around and I'm going to paint in this white or I might leave it. I'll say. I like the white look around it. All right. So we're going to put her on the side. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is get your papers. I'm working with the background. I still haven't cleaned off my desk here. Okay. Working with the background, I have a top piece and I have these. So what I want to do is, with this piece, is I'm going to tear it, but I don't want to come in a lot. I'm just going to tear it towards myself and I'm going to control the tear by keeping my finger there because I only want to go in like the most an inch on the black. All right. I don't want to go in more than really an inch, so I know that I have to control it by keeping my finger there. Okay, and you always tear towards yourself, because otherwise you're not going to get that white line that you want, that white look of it being uh, old and worn out. Okay, I'm going to turn this around, do this side, and if I run out of time, I'm going to uh, try to post the rest of it tonight. If I don't get to do it, because I'm actually doing this right now, and then I'm going to put it right up on YouTube, then I'll do it um, over the weekend. But don't don't go to a next scene. If you have any questions, you can always, when you leave your comment, ask me a question and you know I'll get back to you. So, And this is fun to do. It's not your traditional. I will eventually be doing very basic layouts, but I like to grunge my layup, layouts out, you know, like really get into them. So, okay. And some of you might have already done this, but just in case, I know there's a lot of new subscribers that I have out there, and this way they're going to learn. Okay. Now I'm going to ink this up, and then I'm going to put it down here, and this is how it's going to look. Just like that. So let me ink it up. You could use black, but you know what? This is so dark, this brown, that it's going to look like it's black once it's down there. This is the walnut stain. So I could always go around with the stays on after I put this down and get it blacker, which I might do. I'm going to run out of time, so could never do a layout until uh, uh, the basic ones might be two sessions, two videos, but all right, wait.